hey guys welcome to the second part of the video so uh, till now what we have designed in part one that is uh, we have already designed this banner that is we have designed this kpis uh, and we have also designed the spark lines we have also designed the minimum and maximum whatever we can see here uh, the points of that particular month in that particular year so now what in this uh, dashboard or in this part of the video we will be starting with uh, developing our dashboard so whatever we have developed all the elements we will try to bring that into the dashboard simultaneously and then we will proceed with our other designs okay so i will open my sheet so we have designed till here and uh, one more thing which was remaining guys was uh, uh, to design our tooltip all right so uh, I request you to follow the same procedure which we have done before and you can design your uh, tooltip by following the same procedure which we have designed for uh, sales and profit sparkline so i will not uh, waste much time on that and i will take a new dashboard and i will name it as sales dashboard okay all right and uh, for here what i will do uh, will be using my own pixel size that is own uh, uh, what we can say the size of my dashboard uh, depending upon your resolution or your screen resolution which laptop or which system you are using you can use any any screen resolution you want whichever is uh, what we can say fitting in your window or your screen size so i will be using custom one so the width i will be using is 1600 for me and uh, i will be using a height as 900 okay so this is a perfect fit for me and i find it very much suitable for my uh, visualization so this is what i will be using uh, the next thing uh, what i will uh, do is i will bring a horizontal container okay i brought a horizontal container you can see and next i will add an image to that right but before doing uh, uh, what whatever the background which we have set uh, to the dashboard if you can see here uh, the background we have already designed and that has been designed in powerpoint so i will open my powerpoints all right so here you can see i've already designed this background uh, by using different uh, what we can say colors and different images and different shapes all right so uh, what i will do uh, i will uh, make a separate video how to design a background and uh, it will be helpful for you as well to design your own custom background so you can see here i have different uh, background colors which i have used here so this is a white background which we will be using and this is the background uh, which uh, we will be using for uh, right now the dark background so now i will be sharing this ppt into our description uh, or the link for you to download in description box of this video and from there you can download it and you can you can use it your design so what we have to do is how you can save this so what you have to go you have to go in files all right and you have to click on save as okay so after clicking on save as you can save it anywhere you want so i will click on desktop and then you have to click on jpg format so you have to save it in the form of image so when you click on save it will ask you to save only this particular slide or you have to save all the slides so you have to click on this particular thing so now i have already saved so i will not repeat my procedure again so i will go back and uh, i have everything again saved in my folder so i will open that uh, one second we'll go in desktop and i have my file saved here all right so you can see i have already saved uh, this in the form of image and uh, this i will be using in our dashboard all right so just bring here and now what i will do this is my dashboard i have already added a horizontal container then you have to take an image over here make sure it is a tiled one and i will put it over here all right then uh, it will ask you uh, i will ask to fit and center the image and i will choose the image which we are using and this is the image we will be using click on open apply okay all right so you can see our image has been perfectly uh, what we can say resized with our that particular horizontal container and it is being taken taking all the screen which we need for our visualization all right so now first thing what we will do we will add the title for our dashboard so for title now it is a tiled one so now we will be adding our all our floating objects i will click on floating and i will click on text and i will bring it here and our dashboard name is sales uh sales what let me check it is sales dashboard overview yes sales dashboard i will i add a pipe operator over here overview all right so i will 
make it as a tab loop bold and I will make it as 26 and I will use uh, this color uh, as of uh, color for mine. I will click on OK just uh, let's increase the size I will reduce it vertically and I will place it over here all right so this is our name of our dashboard all right perfect so it is looking good so I will just take it a little down so it is centering our this particular element the next thing what we will start adding our elements over here so I will show you how first element I'm adding for the rest of element I will just fast forward my video and uh, you can follow the same procedure which we have done it for the first one all right so now next thing what we have to do uh, we have to take a horizontal container and make sure you are and floating selected so I will take a horizontal container and I will place it over here all right so make sure you are uh, adjusting this in this particular size itself so okay so make sure you are uh, making a perfect fit or whatever the shapes we have in our background Alright, so we have a horizontal container. Then next, what we will do, we will take a sales KPI. Okay, now to put this sales KPI into this horizontal container, I will make it tiled again. Okay, so make sure you are making tiled again. And now I will take and place it into this container. Okay, so you can see this has been placed. So now we have a title over here. So I will just hide this title. Alright, so it has acquired the entire area of this particular thing. Next, what we have to take, we have to take a sales park line. Okay, make sure it is a tiled again. Okay. So I will take again the sales spark line and I will put it into this container toward the right. Okay, you can see this grid region is there, so it is added towards the right side. All right, then we don't want this particular uh, label, so we will be deleting that. All right, and then I will just hide the title for this as well and make sure it is showing the values perfectly. All right, so this has been added, guys. Okay, so this is looking nice. So now just we will do some quick formattings over here. So I will just right click and i will choose format so whatever the sheet color which we are having for this particular sheet we will go into shading okay so you have to go into shading and you have to choose your none okay so when i click outside you can see uh so let's go for sheet you have to say none so you can see the color has been gone similarly i will click on this sheet similarly in shading and i will say none okay so you can see both the colors have been gone so now one thing which is remaining here like we have chosen the black color for this but it is not looking nice on that uh, for this uh, 746 value that is sales value so we will go into that sheet and we will change the color for this okay so we will go in text and we will change the color and we will choose it at this one okay the uh, grayed out region like this one apply okay okay so then we will go again to our dashboard and you can see it is looking nice uh, and the next thing what we will do we will get rid of all these borders all these grid lines over here okay so i will just click on format and the next thing what we will do here is uh, it is go into our borders and just we can say we can uh, delete all this border or we will say just we don't want any border so we will say none to everything so we still have some of uh, the grid lines so you have to go in these particular lines and say none to everything okay okay then you have to go into rows also and you have to say none all right perfect so now you can see uh, our chart looks perfectly fine if we have all the values we have everything okay so we will start the designing of the second ones so i will click on floating again and take the horizontal dashboard over here sorry the horizontal uh, tile container so re remember that whenever we are dragging the horizontal one you should know uh, that it should be in floating so now i will fast forward everything
So we have placed all the sales KPIs, uh, the profit KPIs and all the spark lines over here. And you can see the pull tips are also looking good and uh, they are perfectly, uh, in, you know, giving some uh, uh, the insights to the customer or to the user of this particular dashboard. And you can see the trend of this particular uh, current year. You can see it is highlighted. So the current year should be highlighted and uh, we can see the previous year should be grayed out uh, somewhat so that, uh, you know, it will be easy for us to understand. The next thing what we have to do is, guys, we have to add uh, what we can see uh, a line over here, which will be indicating uh, like the information about what is uh, there in this particular KPIs or this particular card. And uh, we will also mention the legend in that itself. All right. So what I will do, I will just copy the things which we have already here. So I will just copy this and uh, you can just, uh, you know, pause the video and you can type the same what we are using here. and uh, let me check. So what if, what you have to do you have to take the text and make sure it is floating So you have to take floating and you have to place control V So what for now what I will do I will put everything in black color and I will show you how to, we are going to put the colors and first thing that uh, Whatever we are showing it is in aerial font. This is in aerial font and the uh, font is 9 And if you can see for important things like important text like numbers We are using aerial font, but it is in bold, right? So you can do that and the shapes which we have added here this uh, dot uh, you can find it in excel right so which we have taken the shapes of up and down arrow the same will be available in excel and you can copy from that and you can use here all right so you can pause the video and you can type this into your edit uh, like text box so now we have to give the colors over here so uh, whatever the colors which we will be using for this so if uh, for this we will go into more colors and uh, the color which we will be using is uh, we, we already have the document with us so for current year we are using this color right so for current year this is control c so i will paste it over here control v and just click on ok similarly for this also we have color so we will go in more colors and here we have it as this one so I'll just control c and control v okay perfect then uh, for the maximum month is nothing but uh, this is uh, the these values that is we are showing what uh, which sh uh, pointer shows the maximum which shows the minimum so for that also we have already uh, this thing so the maximum one is this so i will just copy this so press control c and we will um, go in more colors and we will press this here control v click on ok similarly for this is minimum control c uh, we will change it for minimum as well. Control V. Just control copy and okay. Make sure you don't take an extra space space over here because uh, it is not taking characters more than I think. I think uh, there are seven characters. Okay, so click on okay. Okay. Perfect. So you can see uh, the text has been added. We will just uh, make whatever other things are in black. We will make it in white. So this should be white as well as this should be in white color. So we will make this as well. We will make this as well in white and this as well in white. All right. Your own year change should be also in white color. If, similarly for this also we have to change the color. So we can go in more colors. Uh, one more way to choose the color is we can we can choose it from screen as well so if i click on pick from screen and we, we know this is the year on year color so just click on that okay and it will click on okay and okay perfect so the year we have mentioned all the colors and now we will go here and we will place it here all right so this is what uh, how we are uh, mentioning and using our kpi so this is for 2022 2021 minimum maximum and year on year change colors all right okay so next uh, we will be designing our uh, map chart and we, if we can see into our uh, this dashboard this map chart we will be designing so this is a custom map so we will see how to design it so for that what i will do i will take a new sheet and to prepare this map guys we will be taking a custom uh, hex file which will be an external file and we will be using that to modify our data source so for that file uh, that uh, that file I've already added uh, the link for you to download in the description box So it's named with the hex file so you can download from there and you can use to change your data source I will come in my data source. So this is the logical layer 
so we have to go double click and go to the physical level so here we will be adding our data uh, what we can say that table so here we will be adding a data source i will click on add i will click on microsoft excel and we have this file here that is a hex map so i will just click on ok and you can see that sheet has been added over here so uh, just we have to go ahead and we have to change our uh, joints okay so if tableau is not able to identify the joints it will give an uh, error for us so we will be having or we will be have to enter the manually the joining clause so it will be on state uh, state province and here also we have a state column okay so we have used this and we will be using an inner join for this all right so we have already added so now we will go in our sheet and uh, once we have joined it for inner uh, we can see uh, that uh, all the data which we will be having will be only for us okay why because the data which will be there in this particular sheet so let me show you in the data source so whatever the data which we have in this particular sheet is everything is for us right and the data which we have for the superstore sales uh, it is having the some data for canada also right so uh, we will be changing our data source with respect to that all right so you will be noticing some values will be changed for sales because we are using an inner join and some data will be lost and uh, so we are more focused to, to us only so i have not initially applied any filter over here like for country because eventually whenever you are going to use this particular sheet uh, uh, we will be uh, we are so much of restricting towards inner join so inner join takes the matching data from both the tables and we will be only having the us data right and the canada data will be uh, what we can say neglected because uh, we don't have matching numbers for that or the matching values in the second sheet so this is what we will be doing and the next thing what we have to do is uh, the second table which we have added here or the sheet you can see we can see there are two measures that is rows and columns so first i will go ahead and convert them to discrete so i will just right click and i will uh, change the convert to discrete okay so here also i will convert to discrete and then i will bring the columns in here and uh, rows so before that what we will do once converted to script convert into dimension as well right so we will just convert this to dimension okay once they have converted into dimension then bring them into rows uh, column into column and rows into rows and we will click on entire view all right and now here you go ahead and make it continuous okay all right so in visualization we will go ahead and make it into continuous but in data source it should be dimension only why because if we if they are continuous field when we bring them into visualization it will by default uh, go into an aggregation and we will be not able to uh, visualize what we want to right so now we can see this is inverted right now uh, the map is inverted so to change it so i will just click and edit the axis and i will make it reversed okay so now we can see uh, it is looking perfectly fine so now i'll just uh, uh, what what we can do here is uh, we will change this to solid circles okay so you can see uh, this is the solid circles and next what we want to visualize is we want to visualize the total current year sales with respect to total current year profit so i will take the total current year sales and i will put it on size okay so you can see the size has been increased and for now we'll keep the same size whatever we have right now here and uh, next thing what we have to add is we have to add a profit over here so first what we will do i will create a one more instance of this column so i will just press ctrl and i will bring it near to it and we can see one more axis has been created in this marks card we can see there is one more marks card has been created so in this particular marks card we will go into the second one and we will bring uh, remove the sales from here and we will make it a shape and from shape we will choose it as a circle okay it should be a circle now we will take total uh, current year profit so it's here and we will put it into size all right and we will just go ahead and increase the size it somewhat to this level okay so you can see it has been increased the next thing what we will be doing is we will go ahead and make it as a dual axis all right so we have made this a dual axis chart and now we have to synchronize this axis so i will just click here and i will synchronize this okay so remember you have to synchronize the axis it is very much important right so we can see the perfectly matching figures are there and then i will just go ahead and unhide these axes this as well okay so now what we what we need to do is uh, we need to label this as well as uh, we need to modify our tooltip and we need to give the colors to this as well 
okay so we will go in all and we will give the color same for everyone so we will just take total current year profit from your not profit sales and we will put it into colors all right and now we will be using our own custom colors i will just double click over here and we will be using a step five 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 colors and but it will be a custom diverging so the color which we will be using for minimum value is uh, we already have a word document for this so this is the color which we will be using and this is the first which is before minimum so i will just copy this and we will paste it over here click on ok and for maximum we will be using this control c control v okay apply okay all right so now you can see from this that this particular state that is uh, we can see this uh, we are not knowing which state this is so far for to for us to know what we will do we will take uh, the state abbreviation okay the state abbreviation and we will put it into label okay and so we have put it into all marks card so it is giving the label twice so we will remove it from here okay and we will just keep it into the column second so now we can see uh, these are the states we can see the california uh, is the maximum uh, sales which we have occurred in the mega uh, we can say called california uh, state as well as we have got good amount of profit from there as well then we have the on second number is new york right and then we can by colors we can see and by sizes we can measure like which is the high performing country and which is the low performing country all right so now what we can do is uh, i will just quickly uh, rename the chart name first so this is what uh, sales and profit by state all right so now next thing what we will be doing uh, i will just uh, modify our labels properly so in uh, the second marks card i will just change the alignment on top and uh, we will uh, change the color as well so we will make it as 8 and we will uh, use the font as Arial okay so we will be using an Arial font and the next thing what we will be doing here is uh, we will try to change the color of this okay so we will use this apply okay all right so we can see uh, the chart is almost completed now next thing what we have to just do is we have to modify our tooltip okay so we will just off the tooltip for uh, the all the uh, other marks card we will just off it from this we will off it from here as well and we will just show everything same for all right so we will go here we don't want to show here this audits and we will just go back and instead of abbreviation we will show our states okay and to show the state what we have to do we will just click on okay so uh, we have a state and province here uh, okay just find it state and province and we will put it into tooltip okay and now we will modify our tooltip again so we will just take state and province here and we will name the state all right so now select everything and uh, make it as tab blue semi bold font as 9 and color as this Perfect. so now we can see tooltip has been modified correctly and we can see which what is the state and which is uh, what are the current year sales and the current year profit right so now next thing what we will do uh, i will just format this chart quickly and uh, uh, we will just uh, remove all the uh, what we can say the uh, sheet lines which we have here so we will remove everything and also we will remove all the grid lines we don't want those as well we want everything clean so we have designed the sales and profit by state and the next which we will be designing is uh, if you can see these two small uh, custom maps and uh, for that what we will do we will go ahead and take a new sheet over here and we will name it as average sales by state all right and uh, for this again uh, we will be taking uh, columns uh, from the sheet uh, which we have added uh, as a new uh, a table into our data source i will take column uh, into columns and we will take rows into our rows and we will make it as entire view and same uh, we will again convert it into continuous okay and we will just reverse this axis all right so perfect so this is what we want and next we will convert them into circle all right 
so now uh, we want to find out the states uh, which are uh, below the average sale of overall states and uh, which are the states uh, which are above average of overall average of uh, we can say united states right so now for that i uh, will write a calculation and so let's write a calculation for that so first we will name it as average sales state wise okay so we want to determine uh, the state wise average sales like for each state what is the average sale right so for we will be writing for that a fixed sale so i will write a fixed and i will name it as state and uh, we will be writing it on dimension of state because we want state wise so we will take a level of detail at state and then we will take average because we want it in aggregation as an average and we want to find it for current year that is for total current year sales all right so this is our uh, average uh, for this particular states and then we will click on ok and we will have to write one more calculation which will be giving us the overall average of this particular uh, united states that is overall average at data source level so i will name it as average sales okay overall all right and then for this again we will be using a fixed lod so i will write a fixed right but we will be not mentioning any dimension over here previously we mentioned a state but for this we want it at total us level or at total data set level or total country level right so uh, instead of we can use your country but uh, obviously we are excluding our uh, canada so we can use the country that is which will be at us by default but if it, if you are not writing that is also fine because it will be at total total data source level right and we will be using again aggregation as this and i will writing if condition for year because we want it for only current year right so if year of order date is equal to if year of order date is equal to maximum for year again i will mention a fixed value maximum year of order date okay and then we will close this bracket uh, for no then we want total current year sales right and uh, we want to close this curly braces over here for maximum okay so this is uh, for this particular uh, uh, what we can say uh, the maximum lod which we are using here to find out the maximum year then we want the total current year sales and we want to close our uh, this parenthesis for if so i will just close this and before that we have to write end here and then we will close this parenthesis all right so you can see our calculation is valid i will just click on ok so now i will show you why exactly we have written this calculation so let's take a new sheet and i will show in the sheet and explain you why we have written it so i will stick state uh, we have all these states right now okay and now if i take average sales uh, overall and if i show you uh, overall sales is nothing but whatever calculation we have written here is we have right written it as uh, data source level right so you can see it is giving us all the values over here right so it is giving all the values for that uh, particular state the same right because it is overall level right so it will be same for all the states because it is at data source level but when we take this calculation so you can see it is giving us state wise average calculations right so these are state wise so we want to find which states are below average and which states are above average right so now to find that what we will do we will go again back to our this sheet and we will write one more calculation here and we will name it as uh, and we want to uh, give it the color uh, with respect to that so what i will do i will name this as uh, sales average and name it as color right because we will be using a color for that and i will write a condition here if our average sales by state okay average uh, sales by state if this is less than average of overall okay if it is less than average then what we can say it is a below average right so and we will name it as below average all right then similarly else if and i will name it as else if average sales state wise if it is greater than uh, average sales like the overall average sales then we say it is above average else if if both are equal right so i will just copy this 
if this this both are equal that is average sale and uh, the uh, the sales overall sales is equal then we will say that is equal to average right and then we can end this all right so we have we have written our calculation i will just click ok and i will bring it into colors right so we have got uh, our average uh, above average and below average sales and we want to also format our tooltip so what i will take uh, we will go ahead and take state i will just find state and we will break it into tooltip all right and uh, we can see which state is above average and which state is below average right so now what we have to do we have to change our color so before that i will just increase the size little bit for here and the, we will be changing the color so uh, we have already a color code here so for average sales we will be using this and this will be the color code for our average so i will just double click here double click here and we will change this okay apply okay similarly for below average we will be using this and we will change it control v okay apply right so now we will neglect this uh, null values why because there are some states which don't have the current year sales but we will not delete those we will not exclude but we will keep it into visualization but uh, th there are only two states which don't have current year sales right so that is why it is giving us a null value all right so now we will modify our tooltip as well so we don't want uh, the rows and uh, this this thing so i will just delete that and we want uh, state control x so we want state first so i will just enter it and i will paste it over here and we will make it as a 9 and we will make it as w semi bold and we will change the color for this okay perfect so you can see washington above average and uh, this is what uh, we can see so we will modify some more so we will remove this uh, we will just show uh, like whether it is above or below average all right so uh, state this state is above average this state is above average this state is above average you can say this is below average right so likewise all right so then we will just do formatting we will remove this we will remove this and we will also hide our title and we will format our chart and we will remove all the lines which are present here okay we will hide the grid lines as well all right so perfect so this chart has been prepared find the average uh, profit by state we will take a new sheet so first i will copy this name or uh, yeah so i will just uh, instead of this i will just duplicate this and we can just change it over here itself and we will name it as profit all right so this is by profit so we just we have to change our calculations over here and what we can do is uh, first whatever average overall sales we have just we will uh, duplicate that and we will edit this and we will just name instead of sales we will be taking your profit and i will just click on ok similarly uh, i will just rename the name of this first so it is a profit and we will remove this okay similarly we will just duplicate this edit and here as well instead of sales we will take a profit all right and we will change the name here perfect so we we'll just click on ok and one more thing we have to edit this calculation i will so i will just duplicate this and i will edit it and we will change the name as profit average color and we will remove this so instead of average sales what we will be using here average profit all right so this is profits and this is what sales that is instead of here we will be using profit that is overall all right so i will just copy this Control c i will just paste it over here will be and it should be greater than similarly here will be and it should be is equal to same logic just we have to change the measures and i will just click on ok so instead of sales color uh so we will be using a average profit color right so this is profit average color i will put and i will replace this right so this has been replaced just what we have to do is uh, we will have to uh, what we can say change the colors here right so i will just change the color for profit here and we have a document for that so if it is above average we will be using this color 
so control c and i will just rename this control v and for bill average we will be using this color we'll see we will change it over here control v okay right. okay perfect so this is what we have done now we will change the tooltip as well immediately and we will be using the profit color okay so you can see above average bill average right so this is what we have created our uh, custom maps now what we will do we will start bringing them to the visualization all right so we will go into our dashboard and first thing when look for it is a floating and we will bring the first map which we have here and we will just increase its size so for now we will just take this a little away all right and we will hide our title and we will just try to fit it over here right so it's looking good so now next thing what i will do i will just format this and uh, so we will just say none all right so you can see uh, this is what we wanted so i will just take it a little down we'll just increase this and we will place our uh, legends as well over here so i'll just reduce this this as well we will increase this and we will reduce this as well similarly this all right so we have placed our legends as well and we will quickly format our legends so i will just click on format legends so whatever the names which will be there uh, we will be using a font as arial to this and we will name it as arial and we will be using in this colors right uh, or we can use this all right and uh, the body which we have uh, the body should be also in arial font right and we will make it as 8 and uh, the shading uh, or the color we will be using as this we can use this all right perfect okay so uh, we have used our legends as well over here so just look for this perfect yeah so uh, instead of this we will just reduce some more further all right this looks fine all right so you can see uh, we have already uh, posted our map over here the next thing what we have to do is uh, we have to add our other charts right so we will give the title for this as well so to title what we can do we can take a text and we will bring it over here and we will name it as sales and profit by state okay and we can change it to 11 and i will be using arial font again over here so i'll be using arial and i will be using it as bold and we will be using as uh, this color for this okay and we will name it or we will place it over here all right so if you can see to our other dashboard once again okay so it is in sales and profit distribution by state so we'll just rename it okay and just increase this size all right so now next thing what we will do uh, we will start placing our uh, the other two small charts that is for uh, this uh, the average sales by profit and sales right so we will just take it and we will bring it over here and we will hide the title and i will just reduce the size so we don't want the legend over here so we'll just delete that perfect all right so similarly we will take this as well and we'll bring it over here and we will hide the title for this as well Okay, so we'll just reduce somewhat more so if we can go in layout so 
so width of this is 300 i will make it as 300 and height i will make it as 190 similarly for this width i will make it as 300 and height will be 90 perfect so both will be having the same height and just bring it over here perfect so now we will just quickly format this and i will go in here and i will say uh, for this as none similarly for this also shading i will say it as none perfect so we just want to remove the lines from here so we have to remove it from here so we have to see none none we have to say access sticks as none as well in rows or in sheets say everything as none All right, and similarly here as well, axis ruler we can see as well. All right, so now we can see our charts are clean. So we will just delete this as well. And now what we have to do is uh, we will give the names to this, right? So these names, so I will just copy this first. I'll just copy Control C, and here what we have to do, you can uh, pause and you can write the names, guys. So I will just bring a text over here, and I will just paste it over here, and you can see it is an Arial and it is a font of 8 right and i will just click on ok and i will just try to bring it over here perfect so you can see guys uh, the legends are smart enough like if it is above i have already mentioned it in uh, yellow color and it is below if it is, uh, if it is a uh, in uh, like we can say a purple color so for this you can go ahead and you in from uh, i will just select this i will go in more colors and from this document which we have here already so you can give the colors like right? for this is for average sales and this is for average profit right so you can use the color food for those respective things and you can get this right and the for other other uh, text the color which we are using is this right so you can note it down so i will just not uh, mention uh, like waste much time on this so i will just copy it from here itself similarly i will just copy this and we can take one more text over here control v okay and i will place it over here right so we have got it and the next thing what we want to do is we want to find this uh the totals right so this is nothing but uh how many states are above and how many states are below uh with respect to uh that average all right so for that what we can take we have take we will take a new sheet so dashboard i will take it at last we have a sheet over here so i've already explained you so we will just delete this and i will write use the same sheets so sales or we can say average sales by state count all right so for that we will take our uh, average sales into our rows right and i will just make it as circle all right and next we will take again the average sales and we will put it into colors so here it is and we will put it into colors so it will take automatically those colors which have already assigned and here i will just exclude this we don't want a null to be shown then we will take our state so i will take state and state province and i will put it into labels over here and instead of labels what we will do i will just right click over here and i will make it as count okay so we have got our count but i will make it as a distinct count okay so we have got here and here we will just go ahead and we will unhide the header all right so this is uh, the numbers which we have got and i will just sort it so it is maximum is up and below uh, it is the average right uh, the same we will be doing for uh, the other that is for profit so i will just rename this and it will be for profit so i've duplicated the sheet all right so instead of uh, this average uh, average color sales average color we want to be as profit right so we will just take and place it over here all right and instead of this we will place it over here all right so we have got the uh, state count for this as well and we will just unhide this as well all right so this has been done and now we will bring this again into our visualization all right so this is what we are doing where we will take this and first i will just reduce its size 
all right so we will hide the title and i will select this and i will make it as entire view all right and just we will reduce it somewhat and i will place it over here all right similarly for profit also we will bring it and we will hide the title and we will reduce its size okay similarly i will make it an entire view perfect and we will just format this we will go into this and we will say none all right similarly for here we will go and we will say none all right and now the text we have to make it in uh what we can see in white color so i will just go ahead and select a state that is count and we will make it in white color all right this is good and we will make it again an aerial color aerial font we will be choosing an aerial font here and it will be a bold right similarly for this as well we will choose this color and we will make it as aerial and bold all right so this is aerial so this should be also aerial okay perfect and now we want to remove this uh, top two lines so we will just go in sheets and we will say none okay for all the lines right similarly for this we will go ahead and we will say none perfect so this is clean and we will just adjust it with respect to their respective maps and we just increase its size a little somewhat a little bit perfect and we will take this to the center this as well perfect and we will just delete this it will say it perfect so we can see guys almost 70% 70 to 75% of dashboard is already completed the next what we have to do is we have to draw a area chart and some uh, uh, what we can see a bubble chart and a bar chart which will be representing the region wise sales and then we have to add our uh, filters panel then we have to add a uh, the dashboard which will be with a white background as well all right so at, this was for part two uh, for part three i will uh, make another video and i will add you add the link for that in the description box so for now till now if you have learned something so go ahead and like the channel uh, like the video as well and uh, subscribe the channel and share it to your friends thank you guys see you in the next one